we still sitting with his elephant. Um, it's been so nice and peaceful. I'm going to try and move forward for you, Seb, shall we? Yeah. Is that all right? Let's see, this bull is still just moving around. Um, now, Ali, you were asking, what is that? Oh, this is a lovely view. Um, you asked, sometimes, is that all right there, Seb? Yes, um, you asked about the, the secretion out of the elephant's eyes um, or the tears. Now, I, I don't know. I think it, um, healthy elephant eyes, I know, are well lubricated and that, that's also to keep dust and that out of the eyes. Um, so I think that's all it is. But there is, they do get that, that white secretion from time, from time to time. I can't remember what it is. It's just a pre, um, it's just an orbital um, secretion, I think, but I can't remember the correct term. I think Steph mentioned it the the other day. Um, I can't remember what it's what it's called now. Um, I've I've forgotten. If some of you remember, Steph, uh, Steph did mention um, what the correct term for that white secretion is. Um, but it's I, I think most of the time it's just like the 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 liquid that you can see around the eye is is actually healthy. It's just lubrication of the eye. So funny, I keep hearing some scratching in the grass and I wonder what it is, but it's a little Franklin. I can't see it. Um, it scratches uh, scratches around in the grass and it's a little crested Franklin busy looking for food. Can't see it now. Here comes this male again. <laughs> He's been wonderful to watch. Apparently James, uh, James Henry I can't remember the term for that secretion either or that um I, I don't yeah, I can't remember what it what it is though. The correct term, but it's not it's not unhealthy or anything. It's kind of like we get um what we call we refer to as sleep in your eye, you know when you when you go to sleep you wake up in the morning you've got this um I suppose like a liquid that's been secreted from your eyes sitting in the corner of your eyes we call it sleep um, it's similar to that um, sorry Megan you uh, what is the f f the, the f f best distance or what the what Oh, safest, the safest distance to keep from an elephant. Well, Riti, um, I would I would recommend if you. I'm trying to think now. Look, Riti, if you go on a safari by yourself, um, if people like in national parks in Kruger, for example, here in South Africa, you are able to to take self-drive safaris. You can hire a car or you can get a car and drive around yourself. In those situations, I think if people are very inexperienced, then um, then you need to be quite careful and cautious. And I would, I would recommend a further distance away of about 30 or 40 meters and sitting quietly, switching the vehicle off and just watching the movement of the of the elephant um, it helps obviously knowing elephant behavior um, with guides though in general I mean we've been quite close to this male he's been very relaxed I've been watching him but also I haven't been moving around him too much we've been sitting quietly the vehicle hasn't been started a number of times it hasn't been driving backwards and forwards so that's why he feels comfortable and relaxed um, and so we can get a bit closer but I always, always suggest practicing uh, caution and and rather viewing them from a safe distance, a bit further away, 30 or 40 meters, uh, especially if you if you don't know their their behaviour. If you do, 
you can probably get a bit closer. The other thing is, though, Riti, what's nice is if the elephant chews to approach you. So if you stop far away, sit quietly, and the elephant slowly feed and they move towards you, they will then decide what, what distance they are comfortable with. And that's often best. So they can say, well, they can decide, okay, they've moved close enough, and then they'll keep a a kind of a invisible barrier and a, a distance that they feel comfortable and secure with that they don't feel threatened and at times they can close that gap right up to the vehicles but you always need to be cautious I think while this bull moves away I can hear another one feeding just in front of us let's go and see if we can get a better look at that one Just off to the left, actually, left of the road. I can hear it. I saw a bit of movement there. Well, now I'm going to try see if we can get a better view here. But it sounds like Scott.